Okay, I am back. Hello, everybody. Um, I realized that I probably didn't introduce myself earlier. <laughs> My name is Evan Gilman. I am one of the maintainers on the Spiffy Inspire projects. Um, so I, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to kind of help facilitate today, give the opening remarks, and uh, I'll, I'll kind of kick off the the day of talks here with a, a update on the Spiffy project. Um, earlier, I, I had described some of the velocity, like high-level velocity and, and growth metrics, adoption metrics from the Spiffy project as a whole. Um, this is going to be a little bit more zoomed in on specific things than activities that we've done over the last year uh, and, and where we've come from. Uh, so when I was doing these slides and I looked back on the last year and I was thinking of like, you know, what themes are there, the only thing that I could really come to my mind is this idea of stabilization or maturation. The last year in, in, in Spiffy, um, both the Spiffy project itself, the specification set, and across as uh, across all the sub-projects, including Spire, um, the last year has been a lot of kind of like sanding down rough edges, um, making it more usable, making it more performant, making it more stable, uh, all that kind of stuff. There, the, you know, in the past years, we've had big announcements like new specs coming out and new things like that. This year, we had a little bit of that, but it was mostly around stabilization. Um, so what do I mean by that? I think... Uh, Probably the biggest and most meaningful part of this stabilization story is all the governance work that we've done over the last one year. Uh, this is really, 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 really important and critical to Spiffy Inspire uh, as a whole. It's, it's kind of this dirty work that nobody wants to do, but it must be done. Because if you cannot show continuity, business continuity in the project, if you cannot make people feel that, hey, this thing is a, here, it will be supported if something happens, I can rely on it. How can you adopt in any meaningful fashion if you cannot depend on a project in this way? So having that governance be, be really, really strong, having a strong bus factor, having good rules in place and policies and a good structure, all that stuff is critically important. Uh, so in that, you know, we did a lot of things in, in that of that ilk uh, in the last one year. One of them was that we renewed the charter or actually wrote, <laughs> wrote charter uh, for the TSC um, you know, we, this, this group is a group of people uh, that have oversight over all kind of the, the Spiffy Inspire sub-projects. Uh, oversight's not, maybe not the right word, um, but they're there to help support the projects. They're there to help connect people, to help spot gaps. They're there to help unblock. They're, her, they're there to help facilitate uh, across all the Spiffy projects as a whole. One way to think of them is kind of like the CNCF talk. Uh, uh, CNCF talk as it is to CNCF projects. This is a similar body there to service Spiffy and its sub-projects. Um, so we put this new charter in place uh, that defines you know, the mission, exactly what this group is going to be responsible for and how, how to get on it, uh, and, and people who are on it, what all the responsibilities for them are, and, and is all clearly codified. Uh, so that was a pretty big, pretty big deal for us. People with sharp eyes may have noticed in that last screenshot that one of those changes was that we actually renamed the, the, the group. Oh no, I'll go back. <laughs> 